Back me in. <laughs> What's the back of your hand? <laughs> Building these. Uh, yeah, stage two. So, Tan's cut a little hole down there in the plasterboard. He's finished grouting the tiles, the floor tiles. And now the shower base is going in. Okay. What is 15B? So it's got itself a little access hatch down there so we can connect things up. Yeah. Are you sure it don't matter which one? No, we, we need both of them anyway. Right, Tony's in the process in the bathroom here of building the shower cubicle. Um, it's quite a long drawn out process because there's an awful lot of parts but they're all numbered and there's diagrams so he's following a a diagram for this, but big pieces of glass and anyway, it's a corner, what we call a quadrant shower cubicle. Now they have a lot of these in France. It's, they call it a shower cabin, and we've used these quite a lot. They're reasonably priced. They're reasonably durable. I think this one was around 250 euros. It was on offer. We did pay 400 euros for a, for a bigger square one previously but they're pretty good quality and they serve a purpose for us because they're easy for Tony to fit. Now we have over the years fitted an awful lot of showers in various different bathrooms including some very very posh uh, built-in tiled ones um, but for our purposes yeah these are brilliant. Right, while I'm here I'd like to show you my Lovely new light fitting, my bargain light fitting. How much do you think I paid for this? Now, it's very, very good quality. It doesn't have any crystals, although it was suggested to me by one of the viewers that I could hang my own crystals on it, which is exactly what I'm gonna try and do. But I'm really, really pleased with this. It gives us just enough light for the bathroom with the three arms. But the detail is, is lovely, it's really, Good quality and he, it didn't even need rewiring so Tony's had a result there as well I love the uh, piece that attaches to the ceiling there but I like all of it I think it's really lovely and it was only five euros so a super bargain we did actually find this at the Brocant where I filmed we found the giant chandelier uh, but I didn't actually film this as it was very last minute because we hunted around and couldn't find anything and we just spotted this at the last minute tied up with a bit of string on the outside rack. So it's a little bit of a confined space that Tony's working in here but he's getting there. Everyone's being very industrious out here. Uh, Tony's got umpteen parts of showers and yeah, bits and wrappings and and then oh, the Tracy's been really busy. How long have you been doing this, Tracy? Oh, good couple of hours. Three hours. Three hours. Yeah. I re yeah, I reckon. And obviously, it was really, really dirty. You can see on that top bit that she hasn't quite done yet. Uh, so this is for your um, second bedroom. other bedroom. Yep. Uh, but that's lovely, isn't it? It's a nice huge light fitting and this was 25 euros at the Brockhamp, wasn't it? Yeah Excellent, but yeah, you've worked hard there, but worth it. Yeah, I've got to do a little bit of touch no, up No, you could now. take it, you, you could put it back up for sale for a lot more money now, Trace yeah. Then you'd have to go and buy another <laughs> light fitting <laughs> Right Also busy out here is Tony Paint 
And as we can see, he's done a lot more with the shutters. He's painted the small garage doors there as well. And then he's now working on the actual timber frames, the door frames and the window frames. So wow, they do look a lot smarter, especially that one there on the back of the Jeep. And that's the door for the Jeep where Tony Paint is. Wow. Very industrious. And I've been doing my vlog, so I'm industrious as well. <laughs> Is it this satin finish, not a brassy finish? Like... Yeah, you don't want it too shiny, and that looks absolutely brilliant, oh, I actually. I like the one upstairs. I like it. Yeah, one. but I really like this. Um, and obviously, to achieve that finish, I think we think it was lacquered, don't we? Because it wasn't coming off with the brass, so nah. metal clean the stuff very easily. So Tracy's got got to it with the wire wall and that seems to have done the trick and it's actually given it a really lovely finish but you probably will have to take it down every once in a while and give it a polish up won't you <laughs> yeah no. <laughs> i know you tracy paint you like <laughs> cleaning it things i want the polishing once it's up it's up <laughs> once it's up oh but yeah i really like that Fifty euros. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Did you hear that, Tony? Like Tony said. I said I really like that. So she said, "Well, you can have it for fifty euros." <laughs> like Tony said, though, I put three hundred hours in. I know. Cleaning it. <laughs> it's probably worth that. Actually, well worth that. <laughs> so you could go into business. You see. Yeah. <laughs> I was fancied starting a little uh, interior. Decorating perhaps place here, maybe a little not a brocant but upcycled things. Maybe a little bit of a gallery with furniture and furnishings. Yeah, wait till you're here a bit more permanently and maybe we could do that. I can find lots of old broken dirty things. Tony can fix them and you can clean them. <laughs> And I can sell them for lots and more money. Tony, and then Tony can paint them. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's easy now. I'm not reaching right away at the top. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> it takes like nearly the whole room until it goes in the corner. Well, he's getting there. Are you nearly there? No. Ah, oh, what's up? Well, I never had a top the pipe's too bloody long. Pipe's too long? Yes, but I'm shortening the pipe up. Oh, okay. Oh, in the bottom of the plasterboard. Yeah. What's happened? Not quite sure what he's doing. Put the leg come off here, Tom. I will, I will be able to put it back. Ah, the rock kids are bloody staring it. That's nearly there. I don't want to rip it off now. Why is nothing easy?
Because the pipe's too big, do you know what I mean? The pipe's too small. Too small, it's going to slot in. Yeah, look. It seems too much play around. Really. I can't do anything different, I've gone on that washer. Still causing problems, is it? Fucking French plumbing. French plumbing? Don't blame the French plumbing, son. <laughs> <laughs> that bit's on there, that's that perfectly fine. Well, it seems like I've got so much play, look. I can't really stand back properly to get a proper view. It does actually look quite Enormous that uh, cubicle. It's pretty big. I think it's 850 quadrant. Yeah. It's the same size. It's practically the same one that we've got upstairs in the bathroom. Well, the cubicle is positioned in the corner, so we can get a feel of the size of it now. Um. So the toilet will be going in this part of the room and the basin will be going there next to the shower. It's uh, not going on the floor, it's one of the wall mounted ones. And you'll see that once it's in. Uh, yeah. um, this shower has an overhead shower that hasn't got peat on it yet and can be raised up as well. And it also has a handheld flexible hose shower which also isn't on there yet. Yes. Um, I've got a nice little cubby hole here where I can put some toiletries and towels and things. Um, all coming together really well. I'm really pleased with my wall here. Stone work looks really good. It's drying out quite well even in the even in the thicker bits because there were some very deep bits there. But yeah, I'm pleased with that for a first attempt. Got up some little bits of tidying up to do. I need to tidy up that join down there. I think Tony's putting a little quadrant trim around that bit to make that look tidier. And yeah, the window's gone in up top but it's not fixed yet. It's just pinned in place temporarily there. I don't know, I have to make curtains. Yeah, we have the over there. rail rail radiator, that's giving out a nice heat. We have my lovely light fitting, <laughs> and we will have a lovely mirror on the wall as well. Yeah, the floor still needs to be sealed and have a wipe over before it gets that. It's a little bit dusty and powdery. It's difficult to get to see the whole thing.